Hi there, and welcome to this video on GCSE Biology for the AQA specification, in which we'll be focusing on the topic of biodiversity and the effect of human interaction on the ecosystem, and in particular on maintaining biodiversity. I'm Shumana from StudyMind, where we help you revise GCSE Biology with our helpful video tutorials, tailored to your subject, your specification, and to you. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button. Whilst you are watching, please leave any comments below if you're unsure about anything, and let us know if it's your first time watching our videos so we can send you our free revision materials. We also have helpful timestamps below for each part of the video to help guide you through the specification. So let's get started. Hello there, and welcome to this tutorial on maintaining biodiversity. So in today's tutorial, we'll have a look at how humans may improve biodiversity, because as we saw in the first tutorial in this series, we saw that a reduced level of bio biodiversity is not beneficial for the ecosystem or for humans themselves. So this is our specification point. So let's go ahead and address these points individually. So we've considered the negative impacts of humans on the environment. But this tutorial will look at a few of the positive measures put in place to increase biodiversity. So for example, breeding programmes. So as habitats have been lost, humans are attempting to repair some of the damage. So animals such as the Arabian oryx and the panda have been kept alive by breeding programmes in zoos. So without these, these species would probably have gone extinct. So in zoos, animals are looked after well and helped to breed to keep their species alive. We've also protected and regenerated habitats, so national parks and nature reserves are made in order to protect certain endangered species. Also hedgerows and field margins are often put in place by farmers and are replanted as they provide a great habitat for many organisms, which in turn increases biodiversity. Because when farmers do lay out an area for their farm, they often do have to undergo some deforestation or chopping down of hedgerows. But once they've grown their type of crop, they can then replant these hedgerows along field margins, therefore restoring this habitat for many organisms. Also, reducing deforestation has led to an increase in the numbers of certain habitats, which has also led to increased biodiversity. Now, by reducing carbon emissions, there could also be a reduction in global warming. Recycling resources has also reduced the amount of waste in landfill, which reduces land pollution. So that's our tutorial points for today. Make sure you know some examples of the positive human interactions in an ecosystem, including breeding programmes for endangered species, protection and regeneration of rare habitats, reintroduction of field margins and hedgerows by farmers, reduction of deforestation and carbon dioxide emissions, and also recycling resources rather than dumping waste in landfill. So those are your five key points there. So well done for today and I'll see you for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching this free video from Study Mind. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to catch our newest videos by clicking below and leave a comment on a topic you'd like a video on. Click here to watch more videos in our series for GCSE Biology or visit our website studymind.co.uk for free past paper compilations by topic and specification.